and welcome to today's video. We are going to do a brake upgrade on my 64 Chevy Impala convertible. And it's sort of a weird upgrade because I already upgraded this to be a disc brake front setup. And now I'm gonna go to a slightly bigger disc brake setup. And I'm doing that because the disc brake setup that I have right now I've had on this for probably 20 years now, and I've always hated the way they felt. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to a bigger piston front caliper, which I'm pretty confident is going to improve the brake feel that I have with the car. Because right now, I can push the pedal down and the rear brakes lock up, and the front brakes don't really work very well. And the pedal is super, super firm and the brake booster doesn't seem to be doing anything. So I think basically my master cylinder, my calipers, and my rear wheel cylinders are not matched properly, and that is what's causing this terrible feel and terrible quality of braking. So hopefully going to a bigger piston front caliper is going to resolve all of this. It's essentially swapping this whole setup to be the same as like a 1970s Chevy pickup truck. Um, it's also similar to a Chevelle. Not quite exactly what a Chevelle has, but it's very similar. The only difference is the rear uh, wheel cylinder size. Anyways, I won't bore you with the details. I'm going to hop right into this. So these are the brake caliper brackets that I got from Classic Performance Products. I forget exactly how much I paid for them. I want to say it was around like, I don't know, between $75 and $100, I want to say. It looks like a pretty nice kit. These are steel and you can see they have some threaded holes in them. And then it comes with all the hardware and it looks like it comes with some instructions as well, which I am hoping are gonna give me a little guidance here of how these brackets bolt on. Up here, I have some calipers and these calipers have three inch pistons in them. It's actually 2.94 inches, I believe. And these are the same calipers that go on a 72 Le Mans and also Chevelles and also Chevy pickup trucks. They pretty much interchange with all sorts of vehicles uh, made by GM in the early 1970s. And then of course I got some brake pads to go with it. And hopefully all of this will bolt on and still allow my 14 inch wheels to go on to my Impala. Now, if you wanna compare what's on there now, these calipers are from a I believe it's like an 82 to 92 Camaro, and they also interchange to be like a Chevy S10 pickup truck and a whole bunch of other vehicles. But as a comparison, you can see the new one is actually just much bigger. Now, this one has about a two inch piston in it compared to this one, which has a three inch piston. So I'm upgrading the size of my piston in the caliper, which is hopefully going to improve my brake feel. The rotor is gonna stay the same. It's still the 11 inch rotor that is from a, uh, I think these are from like Chevelle's, Monte Carlo's, Le Mans, GTO, all, all those uh, 68 to 72 A bodies, I believe. And yeah, this is gonna stay the same. I am just gonna upgrade the caliper, but to do so, I need to remove the rotor. So that's what I'm gonna do next. So this is how I have mounted the bracket. I am not 100% sure that these washers go on this side or if they go on the other side. I really don't know. Uh, I just basically picked this side. It seems like a good one. You can see there's a spacer in between to hold this bracket nice and straight. I also added some washers here, or a washer here, I should say, because this bolt didn't want to go in all the way. Now, I don't know if the knuckle is just not threaded that far in or if the bolt was too long, but
but I just added a washer here so that I could tighten the bolt. Otherwise, I would have to use the shorter bolt. This is the factory bolt, or at least this is the bolt that I had in the last disc brake kit. I'm not sure if this is actually a factory bolt or not, but it is shorter. So I could have used this bolt, but I like this nice, this nice uh, shiny new one. So I ended up putting a washer there so I could use the new one. All right, so now let's throw the rotor on and we'll see if the caliper will bolt on and then we'll see if the wheel will fit over the caliper. And then I'll actually hook up the brake line. Great news. I just threw the wheel on and spun it, and it's not grinding against the brake caliber, which means my 14 inch wheels, now these are not factory wheels by the way, but my 14 inch wheels are now clearing the bigger piston caliper, which is three inch pistons, again, Chevelle calipers. So these wheels I actually got from Coker Tire probably 18 years ago. And I pretty much called them up and I said, I have a 64 Chevy Impala and I'm putting a disc brake set up on the front. So I need my wheels to clear my disc brakes, but I want to keep the 14 inch wheels and still keep my dog dish hubcaps. And this is the wheel that I bought. Well, these are the wheels that I bought and they were obviously brand new at the time. And like I said, it's exactly what I needed. It, cl it clears disc brakes holds a dog dish, and it's 14 inch. I think they're 14 by six, though I'm not actually sure. Could be 14 by seven. I can tell you my tire size is 205, 75, 14. And yeah, now that I know it's going to work, I'm going to put the brake pads in the caliper and then hook up the brake hose to the caliper and bleed the brakes and make sure it all works. All right, so let's do that. So the brake job is now done. I still have to bleed the brakes a little bit. I'm gonna try to do it myself, but if I can't, I'm gonna find a friend. And then I'm gonna test drive it and see how it is. I'm hoping that the pedal feel is a lot better. I'm hoping the brake uh, booster actually boosts. And I'm hoping that the bias between the front and the rear is a lot better than it was before, because it was definitely giving more brake to the rear in the past. So. We'll give this a shot and uh, we'll see what happens. So I just went for a cruise in the Impala and the brakes totally work. The one thing I haven't tested though is actually smashing on them really hard. So that is gonna be something I'll do in the days ahead. I can tell you that the feel of the brake pedal is like a thousand times better than it ever was. You can actually push down the pedal like halfway and it feels like a totally normal brake. The other thing that works now is the booster. So before, I think the booster couldn't actually be activated because I was only pushing the pedal down like this much and the booster just, it, it just wasn't doing anything. But now, now that the pedal is actually moving like halfway down the travel, the booster is actually giving it that extra boost. And I can tell this because if I pump up the brake pedal and then I start the car, you can feel the vacuum assist from the brake booster where you could never feel that before. It was just a solid brake pedal from beginning to end, nothing ever seemed to change. So, moral is, I'm really pleased with the results. I'm very happy I went with the, uh, the CPP brake kit with the bigger piston calipers. Just as a reminder, those were three inch piston calipers. I still have the stock rear brakes on here. So those are still drums. I have disc in the front. I have a master cylinder with an inch and an eighth inch bore. Uh, it's the same master cylinder that goes in like a 72 Le Mans, a Chevelle, a bunch of Chevy trucks, a whole bunch of other stuff. But moral is inch and an eighth booster, three inch piston calipers and stock rear brakes. Oh, and a proportioning valve that is just the generic proportioning valve that pretty much every GM car uses from this era. So I would say that is a winning combination. 
If you haven't done a disc brake upgrade yet, those are the parts that I would recommend. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe, ring the bell, share with your friends, and stay tuned for more 64 Impala videos because I got a lot of work to do on this thing. All right, we'll see you next time.